It's good to be back in the room with all our supporters and all our contractors. Today is about looking back over the last six years and then looking forward to where we are going to go over the next few years in order to take Wave Energy to being a commercial reality. We're delighted to be here to share our experiences and to hear the experiences of the other people who've been through the various WES programmes and um, looking forward to how we can actually take Wave Power forward and make it a serious and credible part of the energy mix for Scotland for the future. Wave Energy probably has two main markets at the moment as I see it, the small scale markets opportunities where the technology could be used now and that second um, opportunity is about the, the, the larger market. That is a future opportunity and we need to keep creating a pathway to get there. And if we look at Wave Energy in the context of our policy priorities for energy and climate change, the value of the work that you are doing could not be more clear. Wave Energy Scotland gave to the marine energy sector a, a big, very big opportunity because uh, in a time where basically uh, no one's uh, looked to this uh, sector. The Web Energy Scotland role was uh, uh, to revitalize all the efforts. From my point of view, this was really uh, important because it's not just uh, a way to, to give money, it's a support uh, to deliver an impact with those money, to deliver a result and uh, to properly uh, focus uh, on the exploitation of the design, uh, of the activities, uh, uh, inside the project. The whole process has been a, a fascinating experience within a very structured programme. The Wave Energy Scotland uh, stages have uh, set out the work in a very specific way, and now being at a physical testing stage. We've got a product and uh, we're quite excited about what that product can do and in fact what other products can we develop. There is no question that Scotland has the expertise. Our team is, is travelling all over Scotland speaking to potential fabricators, not about building a one-off machine, but about setting up a serial manufacturing um, supply chain to build these machines and ship them overseas. So that Scotland definitely has the capabilities. Um, and, and that's all thanks to you know, the, uh, the experience in the oil and gas industry and um, the, the energy transition. Uh, but your achievements, your expertise, and your passion make me very much optimistic about the opportunities for the industry in the future. And you can be assured that the Scottish Government will continue to provide its support to the development of marine and tidal energy. Wave and tidal energy have a crucial role to play in the energy mix. Wind wasn't an overnight success. It's been 40 plus years for wind to get where it is today. Um, and wave energy uh, will get there too. There's some fantastic signs uh, of really good progress now. Um, I quite often use the phrase, if you can't see it, you can't be it. Um, and if you don't see wave en energy technology um, in, at events like this, then you can't be involved in it. Um, you don't know to be involved in it, you don't know to be excited by it. Um, and that's why events like this are, are so important.